calling you uh, Eric now these days? Anyone? Nobody. And no. I never, and see, that's the funny thing. It's like you guys have portrayed it's that I wanted to be called that, which I never did by uh, you guys Nobody wants anyway. to be called the name they well, changed their name yeah. to. Why did you change your name if you didn't want to be called <laughs> it Eric? It was for personal reasons. Well, you never <laughs> wackos no, 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 no. I know that. But what good is it if everyone's still calling you Fred? Because that's what everybody's used to. What am I going to yeah. do? A change? But why everybody? change your name? It's like somebody gets a bad, you know, a bad haircut in this place, and it's like, you know, everybody no, calls saying, attention well, to it. If I change my name, my God, would no, never you stop. change your name legally to Eric. Correct. And yet, no one calls you Eric. Usually, people who do that, their name, like everyone called you Eric anyway, so they figured, well, legally, I'll change it to Eric. No one calls you Eric. Your wife doesn't call you Eric. No, she doesn't. You don't call you Eric. Your kid <laughs> doesn't call you Eric. There's no one here. Robin and Does I. Does the kid you. know your name is Eric? I don't know, Robin. I'll have to ask her. You know what? I'm going to call you Eric. I'm going to be the one well, guy. I want to be. He's the one guy in here that's got a decent heart. <laughs> I'm going to call him Eric. It's like a man having a sex change operation and continuing to live as a man. Yeah. Like he's got the vagina and everything, and now he won't put the dress on. Right. <laughs> Why'd you go to it's all not, the trouble? It's not quite that drastic. <laughs> it's a Funny change. thought, but not quite no, that drastic. No, it's crazy to change. Go to legally change your name to Eric, and then no one well, calls I you Eric. Well, I also legally changed my last name, so I. Well, that's got different because one. everybody uses that right. last name. In other words, Norris is a name we yeah. all say, Fred Norris. So of right. course you changed it legally. That I understand. No one's going to argue Correct. that. Well, you know, as long as I was doing it, I figured I'd do both. But, but no one calls you Eric. <laughs> and uh, nor do I insist. Why, Norris is not the name you grew up with, Fred? No, it is not. I never knew that. Wow. See, there you go. You learn ne something new every day. Never knew that. Norris was the name of his uh, stepfather. stepfather, who was a good guy to him. Okay. His real Man. father wasn't. Now I get it. All right. I was hoping. But do you get the Eric part? Not really, no, but I, I don't know if I want to delve into it. I mean, Fred obviously had some family issues that, you oh, know, I, are... I had, I had a ton of family yeah, issues. Yeah, I mean, that are kind of dark, and it's his yeah. own thing he's got going on there. But nobody uses the name. Well, it's one of those changes you make in life where you still give people an option. Like, you, if you, change your, no. you change your phone number, they no, have to learn no. the new phone number. Do you number. understand something? If your name, let's say Fred, Fred Norris is the name that he has. Right. Okay. What if he went in and changed his name to Fred Cohen? <laughs> and he says, I'm not going to tell anybody, yeah. but I'm Fred Norris. I'd say that's a little extreme. You would. It's so different. then why would you change your name to Eric if nobody uses it? Because it felt good. No, 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 no. But then why would me. you change your name to Fred Weinstein? It felt good to me to do that. It makes me feel sad that he wanted to abandon that life so bad and just start something so completely new and different. Well, well listen, he had a tough time yeah, with I mean, his real father. I understand the Norris thing. His, he took on the name <laughs> Norris. He always <laughs> liked that better. So it, why not say, now I'm Eric? What is the significance of Eric? I think I actually Eric? might start using Eric so I can get away from Robin. <laughs> <laughs> so and that Eric, fucking voice. So Eric is the guy that gets away from Robin, and Fred is the one that has to be with him. <laughs> I, Eric's the lucky one. He doesn't have to listen to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric is your lucky persona, and Fred. That's my lucky persona. <laughs> All right. Eric is hearing none of this right now. Eric is hearing none Eric of this crap. Eric is away from here. In Eric's on an Eric island Eric in Anguilla. He's a million no, miles no, away no. from this. Eric's fucking getting mountain. blown by some island chick in Anguilla. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I'm resting a scotch on her head. Yeah, nice. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Fred will Good go up on a stage in New Orleans, uh, doing the doing the dance. Jazz. Nah, I'm not a dancer. Sorry. But, but, you don't but even your wife, Allison, calls you Fred, not Eric. That would be correct. Right. But you don't even, well, like, She go... wasn't in on this, so... Was... Right. <laughs> did you tell her you changed it to Eric yes, when you were I doing did. it? And yes, what did she did. think of that, that no one calls you Eric and you were changing your name to Eric? I don't think I put it to her that way. Right. <laughs> What'd you say to her? <laughs> I think I put it to her my own way, which was not your way, which is not as funny. What did you well, say? what did you say? No, I said that was... The... Here's the deal. I've always hated the name Fred. And, I, you know, and my mother was going to name me Eric, and for some reason, my mm. father... My biological father said, no, you can't name him Eric because it was the name of an old boyfriend of hers. Oh. And I said, well, I don't have the father, so fuck him. I'm going to take the name. So it's really a hostile thing towards your uh, real yeah, father. Was, basically, yeah. Right. I was going to ask what the significance of Eric was, and now I know. That's that. pretty much it. <laughs> oh, man. Then I would actually definitely want to use it. Right. Well, well how's he going to do yeah, that? Yeah, I'm going to do that with somebody like you around. <laughs> He'd have to wear a big shirt that says, call me Eric. Yes. <laughs> right. But, I mean, forget. by now we would have been I mean, everybody laughed Eric. at Prince with his little signal, you know, his insignia thing, so there's no way that they were going to change that. You know, what is your, no do matter you, how he felt. Do you have a middle name? My, my middle name, it would be Eric, yeah. Oh, your middle name is Eric? Yeah. Fred Wait, Eric. Mm -hmm. no, is that well, what it says on well, that legal form? Fred Eric? What do I have? Is this a court? I have I'm to present just... legal documents? <laughs> no, 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 no. What was, your, what was your middle name when you were born? My middle name when I was born. Now, that's another reason I dropped it. This is, this is just bullshit, but I'll tell you anyways. My, my uh, godmother, who was the one who stole my father from my mother, gave me the name Leo. 
Leo. Oh, yeah, you hate that. So there you go. So they, That's he, the worst he name. He stuck me with two shitty fucking names, the last name and the middle name. Did you drop the Leo now? Now you're oh, Eric Fred. It's, it's beyond. Are you Eric Fred Norris now, legally? It's whatever you want it to be uh, today. What does it what? say now in your legal papers? Eric Norris? <laughs> There's no middle name? Or is it Eric Leo it's Norris? Eric, go fuck yourself, Dad Norris. <laughs> Try that. <laughs> what is your full legal name? That's all I'm asking. Fred Eric Norris. Oh. Fred oh. Eric Norris. So your How's name you? isn't Eric. It's Fred. You are Fred. Oh, please. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, honestly, I don't know. Are you Fred it's Eric? It's a slow morning, right? Or are you Eric Fred? What, no, no, it, no phony phone calls over the weekend? I've got tons, but i got to get to the bottom of this. Just tell me your real legal name. Is it Eric Fred or Fred Eric? Yes. Tell me which. Whatever you want, man. Come on, Fred. We're trying to find out. Honestly, oh, yeah, right. just want to know your legal name. He just said Fred Eric. You want to find no, out. No, it's not. He oh, changed it to break. Eric. But then he just said Fred Eric is his legal name. I don't think so, though. <laughs> I, 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 Fred, what is the big deal? You won't tell us your legal name? That is my legal name. What? What, what do you want from Just me? give me your legal name. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you is your legal That's name. That's my legal name. Fuck, fuck you, you. No, are you Eric Fred It really Fred is, or actually. Fred Eric? <laughs> are you Fred Eric or Eric Fred? I'm not talking about it anymore. Why? What, what, how have I offended you? You're not offending me. Then why would you answer? Because you're just annoying me now. No, why can't you be answering me? Are you Fred, you know Eric, great? It's like, or you know, Eric, Robin, Fred? what'd you do this weekend? You know, Artie, what'd you do this weekend? Okay, let's spend the next half hour. Let's no, you, you Fred. Be, Fred, I smell a Fred. recount what, what, on the greatest what, moment ever next week. Fred, what makes this funny is, is that yeah. you won't answer. I mean, like, what's your legal name? Eric Fred or Fred Eric? It's Fred Eric North. Now we're done. Okay. That's it. Don't Thank hold you. out. Fred Eric North. I didn't know Fred was because I know anywhere Because any time I offer any information, then it goes on for like another half an hour, and then another half an hour, and then another half oh, an hour. Oh, stop it. Stop what? You're the one to start. Why would he make his middle name Eric? I thought he I changed it to F Eric. That's what. Didn't we hear my new name? Uh, my legal name is Eric Norris. Yes. I don't. I, you didn't hear it from me. Yes, you did. It you came, said it, on the air. Like, I have a tape. It came from Blabba Booey. Blabba Blabba Booey. Booey. <laughs> You mean Makine? Makine. <laughs> no, I just I, I was working on dates from the uh, f uh, clips from the Artie date, mm -hmm. which is a which is a riot. But I just sat down at my desk and I heard blah blah Bluey or something. <laughs> so what did I do, Freddie? Nothing. Oh, what'd you do? Nothing. Mark, you're on the air. Just you stabbed them in the back. You're just being you. <laughs> yeah, Fred, it's what you did, do. Um, I'm sorry, I don't want to. I have more if you want, Fred. Some of my favorite <laughs> more what? Jesus. Stuff is, um... What's with you, dude? <laughs> Wait, what? What'd you say, Fred? I said, what's with Gary? No, no, no I, just, I was trying to say, I was trying to, I, I heard him goofing on me, and I wasn't sure what I would. No, you said you were the original one who got into I this. said one little thing, and he gets in. No, he, I, he Fred, I just was bristly. trying to figure out what happened. Calm down. Am I right? No, you're wrong. No, Art, well, I, I, Benji's looking at me with that, that silly, sweaty look, so. <laughs> no, you called him Blah Blah Bluey. You goofed on me, and I'm just trying to figure out why. That's no, all. I said, maybe it was a Blah Blah Blah. Blabber, 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 right. blabber mouth. Blabber, Which is what blabber, he is. Blabber. That's his job, and that's what he does, and he does it well. <laughs> or blah, 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 see, that's blah, why were you the one who figured out that Eric was his new name? I don't remember that, but oh, it's yes, very so, possible. Uh, How very, do we figure it out? Very possible. Yeah, I think you were looking through <laughs> the logs or something like that. The logs? Oh, you signed either, your name, Eric? The logs. or It was either the logs or like an FCC license or something like I that. I don't remember that. But, Fred, if you, if you looked and you saw already had some papers and it said, you know, James Lang, you wouldn't think that was odd? <laughs> I figured that's his business. Oh, my God. What show do you work on? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, but, that's, but that's how Gary justifies. Well, is it, you know, what, but when he, when you he, justify he, by writing crazy questions and stuff. But I mean, that's creative, dude. That's what I do. Well, I'm not so as then that's what you do. I'm not as creative as but you. But I give you credit for that. I said, that's what you do. Let's listen to what that's Mark. how you excel. Let's hear what Mark says. Well. This is great. 20 after 6 of a brand new week, and Fred's already on the ropes. <laughs> 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 if, if he never changed his name to Eric like he just said, then how did Gary see it on some league? I know. Time? How so did... he was saying, he was signing because things it was all Eric there. Norris. Yeah, exactly. Where were you signing things Eric Norris? Honestly. Oh, you, you, have to, you were signing the, the log, log, and yeah. you decided to try out your new name on the log? Yeah. <laughs> Got to use it somewhere. <laughs> oh, because with the FCC, you want to make sure your legal name is. Oh, on there, there you go. Don't, exactly. Doesn't he think if the FCC started looking through logs and one day they saw Fred Norris and then all of a sudden it became Eric Norris, even yeah. the FCC would have to question that. <laughs> but his legal name is Fred Norris. He I says know. he's Fred Eric. So why did he sign his? He he signed it Eric Norris. Why would he do that? I don't believe this Fred Eric thing for a second. I don't either. <laughs> Jets stun Pats out post Belichick. Cavaliers at Knicks, 7.30 p.m. and MSG. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> don't, get me start, don't get me started on the Giant game. I'll, I'll start crying. I'll change the subject right Fred, now. Fred, why did you sign the log Eric? Katie kissed off by Lauer. <laughs> why did he sign the log Eric? I, I don't know. If his new name was Fred. And he's never... Jet, show him who's the boss. <laughs> he's yeah. never said that anybody should call him Eric, and yet he was signing the log. Called it Fred is on... Thanks, Mark. Fred's on the phone. Hi, Fred. <laughs> That's Fred's sound effects machine is on the phone. I'm sorry. Oh my Klitschko God. Briggs, a sorely needed bout. <laughs> Fred's sound effects machine. Is there anything else you want to say to Fred? Hello? Uh, all right. That's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see if Howard still has the tweaking he had in him during the Rainbow Room episode. <laughs> <laughs> Knock yourself out. Your sound effects machine is on the phone. Fred. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you, sound effects machine. All right. I think it's, well, it's a kind of a one-note sound effect machine. Yeah. I think uh, Fred's reaction to this is guaranteed. We'll have to bring this up again. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not. You know, <laughs> like, like I would expect it would ever change. <laughs> I'm confused. I am, too. No, honestly, I'm, I don't even mean to make a joke out of it. It's, I respect <laughs> you. I don't. It's, what's funny is your reaction. Your reaction is so funny. In other words... I don't understand why you didn't change your name to Eric. Why Fred Eric? And then when you signed the FCC logs, you why switched you to Eric. Eric. If Eric is your middle well, that's name. that's the mysteries of life. Hey, you can't do that. I have to contact the FCC. <laughs> Feel free. I think they're going to have a problem. So what this. does he sign the logs now? F. Eric. Does he? I don't know. <laughs> There's no logs. We're on satellite. Yeah, you don't really have to oh, sign Oh, what did he sign them before? Did he ever switch back to Fred Norris? Or no. was it always Eric on Eric. the log? Eric Norris Wong. He took on a Chinese, <laughs> took on a Chinese name. Norris became his middle name. That's the next name change. All right, Fred, well, you continue to be a mystery. Oh, okay. You really do. Yes, Andy. Yeah, congratulations, Artie, on uh, your Carnegie Hall appearance. How did it go? Uh, it was good. It was fun. It, it went very well. It was a good oh, time. Did. I was there. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, it was fun. wonderful. Congratulations, Artie. Thank you. I didn't get it. You know, I don't know how to contact you. I would have <laughs> called you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. But you, I, you... I thought it was wonderful. Oh, thank you. We had a good time. There were four comics there. They all did very well. It was a fun night. I was very happy for you. And then Artie... Uh... Brought out Dana at the I end. I missed that part because oh, you I, left? I got out of there a little early and I forgot that you said there was going to be a special guest. And I thought, oh, <laughs> he crap. trots Dana, his girlfriend, out and has the whole place saying happy birthday. Yeah, how did she look? She looked fine. I, yeah. I tried it out at that point because I had to get out the door, but uh, I didn't see you there, Rob. I, I was on the other side of the theater. They never sit us together in an arty event. I know. I thought maybe Artie's <laughs> jealous. Of I thought this. maybe that that would give you guys too a chance to bolt out of there. You know. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know. Thank it, you. You know it was definitely the end. I, I'm sure it was a little bit of a pain. But uh, it was very nice. I appreciate. Did that win her over? Did you have sex that night? I got laid. Yeah. You did get laid at the Ritz Carlton. No wow. kidding. Uh, at the Ritz Carlton. Congratulations, yeah. Artie. You got was... laid by Dana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope. No, uh, I fucked Greg Fitzsimmons. <laughs> um, it was a big night for me, and that was. It, I was very happy. You guys were all there. It really was. Uh, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, at the sound check, I went out on the empty stage and looked. It was like fucking. It was hey, unbelievable. Yeah. How come you didn't invite Andrew Dice to perform with you? You don't want to get booed off the stage again or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, me and Dice at Carnegie, that might be a little too much, you know. All right. Let's go over to uh, Billy. Billy in Boston. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Um, this is Billy from Boston. It looks to you guys. You guys are great over on Satellite. Thanks, Billy. Howard TV is great. I just want to tell you, I was at the, the Audi show in, at Carnegie Hall, and Double A and his buddy sat right in front of us. <laughs> He is the biggest pain in the ass in the world. He's what was he up. doing? Yeah, I looked oh, over. I saw up yelling, yeah. going, Ade, whistling, I, and I saw I, Double A at one point standing up, yell. You know, he's one of those yellers that yeah. you, and it's yeah. during a comedy show, and he's wearing a big jacket that says Double A on it. Oh, Double A with his number on the back. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I thought my buddy was gonna punch him. I, I, I said, Oh, geez, and he's like right right up in front on the second row, so he can interact with Artie and the gang on the really? stage. Really? Wow. He, he thought he was part of the show, yelling and everything. Yeah. It was uh, un unbelievable. But uh, Artie, you were great over there. Thank you, man. I appreciate uh, you coming from good, Boston. Man. All right, thank you, Jay Boogie. You're on the air. Hey now. Hey now. I want to hear uh, about 
um, you know, how they did, uh, you know, like what happened after, like how romantic was it? Did you two have dinner in the hotel room? And... Uh, well, well, there was an after party uh -huh. at Caroline's, which all you guys should have known about. I'm sorry. I knew did. about it. I went it, home to bed, though. It was, I didn't it, know about it. It was like, it was pretty crowded. I, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have, I only stayed for like a half an hour, but uh, Howie Mandel, who also performed that night as part of the New York Comedy Festival at Town Hall, he came. Oh. So I, you know, my mother and sister went, so uh, we went over, the, me and Dana went there, we had some drinks, and then I had a room at the Ritz, so I, I, I had to take a bunch of pictures that I promised Caroline I would do, and after that, we took a cab to the hotel, and it was romantic, yeah, I had a nice suite there overlooking the park, and, uh, you know. How I did got, you take her? Uh, you know, I said, <laughs> look, come on, hey, how about a, <laughs> the entire Carnegie Hall saying, Party got birthday, totally how, how about a little something? <laughs> I did not get totally new. <laughs> so, uh, whatever happened with Stephanie? Yeah, what happened? Well, I had, a big, I, had a big, date? I had a big weekend. I figured since she was out of town, uh, you know, I, I don't want to leave her hanging, so I figured we'd, we'd, we'd do the date. Uh, yeah, we know. set Artie up on a dating game date, and the girl was just so cute. And from what I hear, you guys had your date set up for Friday night, right? It, it was up in the air, but she yeah. told me, listen... I have to uh, leave Sunday morning to go back to St. Louis. Right. And I... Uh, From what I hear, this chick was way into Artie. Uh -huh. yeah, went out was... on the date Friday <laughs> night. And uh, did you fuck her, too? No. Oh, man. What's Come wrong on. with What am you? I, some sort of... What, what's wrong You're with me? Is what you I don't are. believe he's with Dana, <laughs> by the way. Kind of a slob, you Emma. Don't? Nope. Don't believe it for a minute. Why, Why not? Because I don't believe it. <clears throat> Why would I go... It's a ruse. A ruse? What's what the fuck am I doing that for? fool. Exactly. I don't buy it. Uh, well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I mean, why would I go through the trouble? I don't of... buy Fred's first name. I don't buy you and Dana <laughs> as a couple. You're have to buy them both. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what's going on with Artie because the, this and that. I'm not. Uh, I'm what not are you privy. saying? He's gay? No. I'm saying no. He's clean. nothing. He's nothing gay. About I don't him. understand what you're talking. Because that's the about. only reason you would have fake having a girlfriend. I don't believe that him and Dana are together as a couple. Why? Why do you? Why I just do you don't get that? the vibe. I just can tell. What do you mean? It's I don't not understand. happening. It's it's not happening. Look, afterwards, John Hine went on um, they Carell's might have, show, right? and he said that he thought Dana and Artie were going to make it through the no. long haul. They were <laughs> no going to get through this, and they were it forever. No way. Yeah. Well, no effing way. Well, I, I want to know what you're basing this theory on. All right. Here's my theory. Yeah. My theory is... I can't wait for this. ...that Artie and Dana went through hell together, uh -huh. right? through thick and thin. You mean the age. I'm talking about heroin. Yes. <laughs> okay. She saw him at his worst. No. Now, again, I don't know. This is my speculation. Mm -hmm. Artie hates when I speculate, so maybe I should just keep my mouth shut. No, go on. I, don't, don't listen, Artie. Right. Do you um, want to hear this or not? I'm, I'm listening. I don't want anyone to be insulted, but I'm just telling you my theory. Okay, there's an insult coming. They went through the heroin thing together, and a couple to survive that. We, we, did she know you were on heroin when you were on it? No. Okay. So. Wow, that's good, Artie. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So she's <laughs> got to feel like, how do I know this guy? Ah. Uh, how do I know him? Right. This is my how guess. How did you keep it from her? That's amazing. And I'm saying, yes, they might fuck here and there. But I don't see <laughs> how Artie's going to win back her trust. trust. Now, he's got this new broad. But there's that no I new set broad. Him up. There's slate, no new broad that slate. I. Yeah, excuse me. I don't have a new broad. Though. I set him up with a girl who's a doll. It's a radio contest. They got a clean slate there. <laughs> you can start from ground zero. Nothing on yeah, the no, blackboard they, they yet. They call that tablo rosso. Rosa. Ground zero. <laughs> ground zero is a good term for me in dating, by the way. Rosso. <laughs> tablo <laughs> rosso. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And I, this is my feeling that this relationship between it's Artie doomed, and Dave. Huh? I don't want it. I mean, Artie's in love with her and everything, and, and, and I love Dana. I'm not saying anything disparaging here. I'm just saying I don't see how this relationship is going to survive. I gave the guy a brand new broad who's clean as a whistle. You know what I'm saying? And in love with him. It, looking at him with goo goo eyes. Clean and as a I, whistle. Yeah, she's 23. How dirty could Only she be? Only had two guys or something. Yeah, something as far like as that. I remember. Yeah. Chick is A, presentable. <laughs> she dresses well. B, presentable. Sweet. You could take her to your mother. Yeah, C, well, so what the, what the fuck? What is Dana? Uh, fucking no, well, but you got Courtney baggage. Love. Too what? Much you got baggage. baggage. I'm not saying Dana's Courtney Love. Well, Dana's a great the, girl. What about the you fucked it up. She knows the baggage I have, this new chick. She didn't go through it with her. You, as far as. She didn't see you. She didn't see you every day while you were on heroin. Oh, to give her two weeks. I'm, well, I'm I mean, just what telling you, you got a rough road ahead of you with this Dana because she's always going to have in the back of her mind, 
A, Artie was on the big H. Whatever. And anytime she's going to, you do you anything rough road. weird, that's she's going to be looking at you like, is that a sign? <laughs> okay. I'm, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it ain't going to work. But yeah, I don't know. You look, I, I don't know either if it's going to work or not. I'm just saying right now, you, you get know, stuff the, is all right. You get banged occasionally. Then you guys get into it. Then you're on the phone again yelling at each other and arguing. Yeah, I don't know if you need this aggravation. But you're in love. I understand. Well, I don't know what you're... Are you giving me advice through all this bullshit? Or, no, or I don't know. I'm not saying anything. Because I advice... I've pulled guys aside a couple of times in my life and given them advice. Yeah. <laughs> they never listen. They never listen, and they hate me for it. So I'm keeping Ooh. my big, fat fucking mouth shut. Let me ask oh, you it's something. It's too late then. for that. What do you mean, too late? I didn't say anything. Oh, you're hating him already? No, yeah. I'm just saying, with the, your big mouth shut. I'm always right, though. Howard, how do you sit there and say, right. how do you throw your hands up in the air and go, I didn't say anything? You I said didn't everything. Say anything. What did I say? I everything. Said, Am I wrong? Are you having a hard time? You guys, you still haven't worked it all out. Am I right or wrong? Well, I mean, it's not what it was when we uh, first got together. Thank you. But I thank mean, you. Well, thank you. It's way better, a million percent better than it was four months ago. Look, uh, it's know. hard to recover from something like this. I ain't saying it's impossible, but it's always going to be. Then she's going to throw it up in his face all the time. You know, it's like when you're screwing a girl in the well, how do you ass. know? But, but how do you know? See, only, all you know is what I talk about here. How do you know there's stuff I can't throw up in her face? How do you know it's well, not an equal great, give and take? isn't it? That she's got the big age. But what there's... good is that if you're throwing shit yeah. in her face and, you're, and she's throwing shit in your face? I'm just saying it might stop her from throwing any shit, and then there's no yeah. shit at all. And we just live like nah, a regular you're married saying, couple. You're <laughs> saying there's something You're saying there's something I don't know about that you could throw in her face? No, no, I'm of course you don't know anything about the full relationship other than what I say on the air. I mean, so you're telling me in your own Artie speak, there's a few things here in the history of Artie and Dana <laughs> that uh, you she's could throw in her face. She's angel. not been nothing, an angel. Nothing on the level of heroin. <laughs> right. Well, That's what, what is? What? What the hell could she? You have got done? nothing you on. No, sometimes she doesn't listen, Rob. Oh. oh. <laughs> what, she but, uh, smoke some uh, weed? <laughs> I mean, come on. What are we going to talk yeah. about? What is she doing? Angel dust? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell could it no be? No drugs, unfortunately. <laughs> Now, if you're telling me she cheated on you... That's not true. That's a different story. Neither one of us, to the best of our knowledge, has cheated. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what... That's not... What do you have to throw? You got wiffle balls to hurt baseballs, it sounds like. Well, you got wiffle balls. <laughs> Well, I mean, look, if I dated Ma Barker, she'd have shit on me. I, I haven't had the Listen, most pristine I'm life. Saying. I'm saying, what's the difference between uh, it, it, within a month, this new chick or any new chick would have a bunch of shit to throw anyway? I'm not, it's not like I'm, it's, it's still me. I'm da they're dating me and not a new person. Uh, the the, the ammunition this other broad's going to have is going to pile Rosa. up in a minute. Tablo Rosa. <laughs> what the fuck Tablo Rosa is? You know what I mean, blank slate. Oh, you know what it is? The new chick, the new chick, slate. the new chick knows all of your faults, but has not lived through any of them, so you're, yeah. you're starting at a better place. Yeah. But yeah, you she lived through them within four this months. One's, this well, one's coming not. into the heroin. She already knows. Oh, right. What are you going to do in four months? You right. got something planned? God only knows. Old, old Dana knows the I'm heroin. I'm done making promises to Dana myself doesn't. and anybody else. Old Dana knows the heroin. The new Dana, but, but old Dana didn't know the heroin. This new Dana she knows. Does. This new every the, the new person knows everything. Right. She listens to the show. She knows about it. But she still sees Perfect. you as you know, Hardy. The old Dana uh, met me and Not I did. I, the, she, the first night I met her, I did fifty three shots of tequila. That's what we're talking about. She can't get over that. I mean, I don't know. Listen, you know, man, you do what you got to do. I just set you up with a little doll. But Dana's a doll too. I, you know, I'm just saying. I hope you, you know what you're doing. Do you want to hear? Uh, I think you're an evil man. No. Do you want to hear clips from the date, Howard? Yeah, yeah. I want to know what happened on the okay. date. What was she wearing? This okay, it what? wasn't. It, it was a very. We had a very nice time, but it was. It wasn't. It was How'd very she look? uneventful. How'd she look, Artie? Give me the bottom line. You know, it's funny. She looked. She looked like she's from Iowa. I didn't realize she grew up in Iowa, and mm. she moved to St. Louis because oh, it was look the, at um... her, look at that picture. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Wow, she's so funny. Oh, is she cute. Wow, that's funny. you're fucking nuts. She moved to. I mean, see what you're saying is such an insult to Dana. Like, no, right it's there. not. I mean, you guys no, get it along. Is. You're, <laughs> you're fucking not. nuts. I'm looking for you. I, it's not an insult Stop to Dana. Stop looking for me because you're aggravating the shit out of me. No, listen to me, Artie. <laughs> Artie, look at me. I swear I don't mean any offense. You guys got. You're telling me every day you come in here, you guys are fighting on the fucking phone. I guarantee. I'll guarantee you one thing, Artie. Yeah. That a picture of you and Dana wouldn't look like that. Yes, yeah. it would. Dana would have this worried look. I have five face. of them from the other night. Well, <laughs> show that me, look just as good. She does look just as good. As innocent and hopeful as that. And I'm telling you, it's me. What? It's not the woman. It's me. Within months, she'll have this broad. Have a bunch of shit she'll complain about too. Uh, so that's you should all never. Broads do is complain yeah, about. You. So negative. you should never go out with any girl again. You're very all maybe you're right, guys. You're very negative about yourself. I don't like to hear this. You just came off a big night at Carnegie Hall. Now yeah, you're back in the slums. Yeah, I was going to say, how could Artie 
be negative. I'd love to marry Carnegie Hall. What are you eating? Stay there, cookies. That's what he's eating. You know what's funny uh, about that picture, famous, Howard? Famous, number one, Mary, famous, famous. You know what's funny about that picture? I don't do interracial. You know how people send us photoshops <laughs> of Artie? That when Artie was two sixty, that was the Photoshop picture that they sent. Right. You know what I mean? I'll be quiet. Leave no, Artie it's alone. Not McCain. All right, so <laughs> well, so let me tell you about the date. Let me tell you about the date. Uh, well, she. Well, first of all, like I said, she's she's from Iowa, and she moved to St. Louis. She's she really is a very, uh, she's a sweetheart. She's wonderful. Nice girl. But she she bought this new dress for the date, which is a very conservative dress, and she really looked cute. You know, <laughs> I mean, she looked like you know, I mean, that's like a, she looks like a a she's chick nice. unaffected by New York, and uh, you know, I bought a new dress for the date, and it was funny. Like during the date, I mentioned I drove her home with you know Isaac and the crew and the back seat and uh <laughs> and uh, we were behind a garbage truck and um she said, oh, we, uh, she wanted to, like, jokingly yell at the guy to move. And I said, don't do that because of the mob. And she goes, what are you talking about? She didn't know the garbage is run by the mob. I thought that was the cutest thing ever. She goes, the mob runs garbage? See, because like, yeah. she knows nothing. She goes, why would they want that business? I'm like. <laughs> you could teach her a lot. This well, works. anyway, so, but we we had drinks at my place. Oh. It was a nice. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you I mean, brought it to the Artie's lair? She wow. she came over. Yeah, I didn't feel like going out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> the laziness is starting already. So, you, uh, so now she knows where you live. Yeah, I mean, I don't think she's going to like... No, but that's, that's great. That's in your apartment? Then now she can come that's visit you. That's in my you. apartment. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's the terrace. She can come it, visit you. It, 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 <laughs> Smart. That's a stern move if I ever uh, heard one. Uh, well, yeah. Let me show you where I live, just in case you want to come over Come to my It was more lair. like, let me show you where I live, because I don't feel like going where you live. <laughs> so you're having them. drinks. What does she drink? We had it. She, yeah, it's funny. I asked her what she wanted. I had some wine and some and a bunch of booze, and she said, "I'll just take a." She actually drank a Heineken out of uh -huh, the bottle. Uh huh. And uh, I had a Heineken, and we uh, it was a nice enough night to sit on my little terrace there. But the whole time, Isaac and the other guy. I mean, it's like you know. Right. You got the whole. Crew you're doing there. retakes of shit. Right. Uh, <laughs> which yeah, is just. But that's a good icebreaker for you. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Where? Uh, no, come on. You got to admit it. It was the most annoying thing. It ever. was. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Where but was don't you Dana? think it's kind of an aphrodisiac for the girl to see? Oh, this powerful man. Even his dates are filmed, you know, he's got a camera crew. Uh, I wish I had a camera crew at every date. <laughs> <laughs> you know, impress the chicks. Well, it is good in case they try to yell out, like, you know, some sort of date rape thing. I right. Can... Where was Dana? Did Dana know about the date? Yeah, she everything was, was up cool. in the open and fine. She All knew right. about it. She All actually right. was out with her sister. Her sister took her out for her birthday. Oh, that's right. what she calls that guy? Her sister? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, yes. Yeah. So, so you had the date, you had you had beer and, and uh, alcohol. Yeah, so we went up. It was a nice enough night. This is like, I was telling her, too, you, you, you lucked out with this trip. It's the greatest November in the history yeah, of November. Yeah, the weather was beautiful this weekend. So we went out on my terrace, which you know, has a view of the city or with the river, and we had the beer out there. We had a nice discussion, and then uh, she was telling me, like, you know, how she, more about how she studies studied forensics in college, and now she's it's in a bright sales. girl. She is, she is, really is. And uh, we had a lot of fun talking, and then we went down to actually a restaurant where you Robin went. You took her to went, Wayne Manor, your you know, home. Lua. Remember yeah, that place, Rob? Yeah, very nice restaurant. Beautiful restaurant on the Hudson River. Yeah. And uh, I thank God my buddy owns it because we had to come in with like a fucking crew. Uh, I love romance. And uh, he gave us a table all the way in the corner where we could set up the camera. And then we had the gr this place, Lua in Hoboken. It's on Sinatra Drive. <laughs> you, it is actually. Yeah, yourself, Doug, Doug described the meal to me. I do gotta... yourself a favor. I got the pork shank, which is extraordinary. She had raviolis. Listen I was teaching this. her about gindaloon shit. It was fun. Oh, this is from Isaac. At dinner, Artie ate a good amount of food. They both started off with a big bowl of lobster bits. Then they shared appetizers, shrimp skewers, quesadillas, and a tuna dish. I thought they oh my were goodness. I thought they were done after eating the appetizers because the bisque combined with the appetizers was a lot of food. It was. Then Artie's entree arrived at the table. <laughs> it was unlike anything I'd ever seen. It was a giant roast pork shank. You know what it looked like the, when Fred Flintstone gets the, the giant rib on right, the beginning of the Flintstone? Right, and he throws it on the back and it tips the car. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It looked like something you see at the king's table in the Middle Ages. <laughs> it was a huge piece of roasted pig on a bone over a bed of rice. Fantastic. They let a pig over to the table. Yeah, I asked the owner how much food it was. He said it was over two pounds with the bone. Wow. Uh, we, of course, have a full Howard TV special of Artie's day. Stephanie ordered a ravioli dish. For dessert, they shared... Listen to the amount of... Oh, here they are. Oh, there they are eating. Look at Artie. Look at Artie. Carrying <laughs> off that meat off the Look at that bone. shrimp. Man, no wonder she's in love with you. Look at you. <laughs> I, I look like a bear. You gotta see this. I look like a bear. Yeah, like, like, oh. Yeah, they say they're bears in Jersey. And then I stole one of her raviolis. Let me hear. Let's see. <laughs> Party, what's that you're scooping onto your plate? That's uh, that's guacamole with the quesadilla. Oh my god. After your big lamb shank. This place is like a. Oh, look at the size oh of that. Goodness. That's a lamb shank. Holy shit. No, that's a pork shank. <laughs> pork shank. It looks like a ham. Dude, the other half of that was the sandwiches during a giant game, by the way. <laughs>
Do you, let me ask you a question. When you eat that much food, I enjoy don't myself. you get super gassy? Like, it's hard to be on the date because you got to shit and fart and everything? Mm, not not immediately on the date. I mean, the next day is kind of rough, but... Uh... Oh, hey, and also, uh, while I'm all over the place, I do want to clear something up. I went to see Artie at Carnegie Hall. Right. I uh, went out to dinner uh, beforehand, before Artie's show. I was with Ross and Melissa. Mm-hmm. So at, uh, I don't know, I made sure to pee before I left, you know? Yeah. So I get to the show, and I say to the guy, I'm just nervous because I don't know how long the show's going to be, and I figure, well, maybe I'll pee again. So Ross and I, we say, is there a bathroom? We walk in, and it's the public bathroom. It's where everyone goes from the audience. I take one step in, I say, oh, my God, the whole audience is here. Everyone's screaming this my name. This is at Carnegie Hall. Yeah. Right. Uh, everyone's sc- that's that's a, no, it's fine. Name. Everyone's screaming my name. In there. So I go, oh, I was going to walk in a stall and pee. Within two seconds, some guy was shitting in there. It was so bad, it, it was wafting. So I, I just turn around and leave. That was me, by the way. And, and, and Ross and I leave, and some guy yells out, hey, Howard, you're the one who fucking stunk up this place or what? Uh, Next thing I know, two people now are going around writing us emails saying that I took a shit at uh, Artie's right, Carnegie Hall. Right, if you walk into a bathroom and it stinks, it's yeah. your it's shit. My, it's my problem. So, That's so funny. now I find myself defending myself. No, I wasn't. First of all, I'd rather die than shit in a public bathroom, don't you think especially the entire, around all the, my fans. Don't, don't you think the entire audience knows that? Yeah. I mean, you would never, never, never. Well, would I, had a, I just was accused by two people be, because you never smelled whatever came out of this guy's ass <laughs> is definitely illegal in this country. Uh, I like to know that my fans are relaxed enough to shit at the concert. Oh, my God. There was such shitting going on before your concert. <laughs> That's great. Incredible. Howard, do, do you want to... What about, what about when you eat a, a pork shank like that and appetizers and lobster? I mean, let me ask one thing. Have you ever heard of Bite Size? <laughs> no. I like that play Gemini. Take human bite. I can tell you didn't care about impressing this chick. It's like you're using your fingers and you're in there and they the shank. That's, how I, that's every date in the history of my... That's me at the prom. You want to video that? He the entire bone in his mouth and pulled it out with no meat. <laughs> that's how you eat. Would you eat uh, that much on a real first date, or would you be on good behavior? I've, I've eaten that much on other first dates, you absolutely. Oh, yeah. Howard, I mean, what the fuck? Why, why, um, why hide it? Yeah, why get I false that. advertising? <laughs> I respect that. I can't stand heavy people who, who, uh, who uh, don't eat in front of anyone. Well, the appetizers, too, were so big that I didn't actually finish the whole thing. I took it home, and I did. I made sandwiches well, during okay, the time. Well, yeah, it says here, Artie couldn't finish all of his pork, although it looked like in that thing he did. So he took it home. He also took Stephanie's leftovers home with him. <laughs> yeah. She didn't want the ravioli, so I just throw it all in there. Yeah. Uh, Artie drank only one beer the whole night. A fan came over to the table and bought Artie a whiskey and water. But Artie took one courtesy sip and didn't touch the rest of the drink. Oh, nice. A lot What's of that Artie's, A lot of Artie's stories on a date revolve around food. He talked about White Castle, a BLT he ate in St. Louis, <laughs> Lombardi's Pizza in New York, and how his mom makes great sandwiches. All his experiences are food. I mean, so on a real first date, would you make a doggy bag and take it home? No. No, me neither. No. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, I don't know. When Artie drove Stephanie back into the city, he was pointing out landmarks along the trip, but they were all restaurants. He pointed out <laughs> Magnolia... Well, what's ba- in, yeah, what's, what's in New York? Restaurants. He, he pointed out Magnolia Bakery, John's Pizza, Caliente Cab Company, Mexican and Katz's Deli. We went up. I took her up Bleecker Street. I, that's bull, you, first of all, Isaac, that's You can bullshit. hear all that. It's on tape. I showed her where Dylan played his first gig in New York, the bitter end. I gave a lot of music history. Fuck him. <laughs> I showed her where I yelled Baba I, I showed her where I yelled Baba Booey's name in 1989 in Gary's ear. Isaac right? says this Outside is Outside the hard. back fence. It's historic now. As Artie, as Artie was leaving the apartment to go to dinner, they had finished their Heinekens, but instead of pouring them into a sink, Artie insisted on pouring the beer in cups and walking to the restaurant with the beers. <laughs> Another odd, very college-like thing to do. Wow. I like. I like that walking is. drinks. I, if I got a little buzz going, I like to keep it going. Isaac said the other weird thing that Artie was doing was when he gave he gave her a tour of the place that he was showing her the rooms, but he wouldn't turn on any of the lights. Uh. Artie, it says here, Artie must not be used to having guests over his apartment because when he gave Stephanie a tour of his apartment, he took her into the office and bedroom and never turned the lights on. It was wow. kind of odd to be walking into dark rooms. No, no, no. The lights were fine, just not for a television shoot. <laughs> Isaac was like, we need more lights in here. I'm like, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see me in the light on a first day? Got a good point there. Mm. Do you want to hear any of this stuff, Howard? Anything good? Well, it's funny. I pulled like five or six clips. And basically- I, you know, I was sitting there. The, re- the, the reason I think the, the proof that it shows we got along so well is because it was very it was very easy conversation. There was I don't think anything fascinating. Would you? Happened. Would you? Let's say you and Dana do break up. You know, you don't ever know what's going to happen with you two. I, I would, would you call this girl? See, I don't know. Here's the only thing. Like, I got the vibe that at the end that. 
I don't know. I mean, you know, it's funny. Like, if I was single and and I and I made some sort of physical move, I don't know if you would have been too responsive. You know, that. we yeah. should actually have her on the phone to I'm, find yeah, out. That's what I thought you were going to do. You should have called her. I'm waiting for Artie to. I hear she's in the hospital. <laughs> I'm waiting for Artie to double on back in about two months and go, Gary, give me the number of number two who wanted me to put her, my cock <laughs> well, in here's the, here's the thing. Them, huh? Here's the thing. Like, if uh, I could see a scenario, Dana will dump me. I'll call this chick in a month. She'll go, no, I just wanted to get on the show. Fuck off. And no, you see, I'll I end up on a that, bridge with a bottle of Xanax. I didn't get that vibe from this chick. Well, she was, look, I, I we're joking around. She was very sweet, adorable, so much fun to talk to. She's only 23, but it didn't feel like talking to a younger person. She was very mature, smart, had a Trust great, me, great with that body. She was very mature. <laughs> she had a great sense of humor, yeah. and she, she looked very nice in her dress. She, and, uh, you know. Uh, was there what? any physical contact? Did she touch you at yeah, all? Yeah, we hugged at the end of the night and kissed on the cheek. She didn't jerk but, you off? And, <laughs> yeah. No, Isaac did. Yeah. But, what, what, uh, she was, and she was naive about me. She's not dumb. She's very smart and savvy and, and kind of, you know, hip. But she was naive in New York in a very cute way. Uh, I found that. That'll that's get old quick. Yeah. No, well, that's no. refreshing. Yeah. Believe me. Yes, go, go ahead. Go to Gary Preview page two. So I pulled like six clips. But the, the theme of the date, the, the date's very uneventful, except for the fact that it does, all of Artie's conversation does revolve around food. Uh. All right, here's Artie talking this about is, devil dogs and white cats. This is in his apartment. All right. You always talk about devil dogs, and I've never heard of one. I can't believe you never heard of a devil. Maybe it's just an East Coast thing, but I grew up, uh, I couldn't imagine a world without devil dogs. Or Tasty Cakes, I've never heard that's of That's a either. Philadelphia company, so maybe that's just the East Coast. I know they're based in Philly, but I'm almost positive. It's funny, like, you have White Castle in St. Yeah. Louis. I'll tell you a story. When I was a kid, I would always eat the White Castles and look at the side of the box, and it said every city it was in. Uh -huh. like, so I'm doing stand-up years ago. A midnight show at the Funny Bone in St. Louis, and I'm on stage. It's like 1 a.m. and I'm starving. I can't even think about my shit jokes. I'm just thinking about how the fuck am I going to eat? Because it's not New York. Nothing's open. Oh yeah. So I remember as a kid on the side of the White Castle box, it said St. Louis, and I went, "Hey, uh, is there a White Castle here?" And the place you would have thought I was like Springsteen going into Born to Run, they went, "Ah, oh, White Castle." And I said, "Can anybody give me a ride?" And these four guys in the front row gave me a ride to White Castle. You just went with some. Beer? Yeah, I do that a lot. That girl had to be impressed. Wow, Artie went to St. Louis and was at White Castle. <laughs> it was great. What is it, guys? Artie's just about to give the menu what he had at White Castle. Oh. I, we went and uh, uh, I got like 10 double cheeseburgers and a shake and I fell asleep in my hotel room. The Adams Mark in downtown St. Oh, yeah. Louis uh, with cheeseburgers on my chest. That's how I woke up. Hot. That's got to turn a girl on. <laughs> what a picture. Just being up front, honey. <laughs> Go ahead, Isaac. She she really liked Artie. I mean, she said in a couple of years she's thinking about moving to New York. Is that right? Ooh. Yeah. So. She, she said less than that. She loves New York City and wants to so move So So he's insane, right? I mean, she liked him. Howard, what she, is she's, insane she's about insane. me? I have a you're, girlfriend. No, no, no. What is you're insane, insane that you think that the girl... No, forget that. You're I'm talking about that you you're vibe, you have such yeah. a bad fucking self-image. I do, but not enough to where I would not call her. I, if I was single, I would totally give oh, it a shot. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know... So she's going to wait a couple of years. Artie won't be alive in a couple of years. Exactly. She's got to move to New York now. That's the other thing I told her. I said, you're 23. I said, think about it. I'm 39. I said, do you really want to be changing my diapers in 10 years? <laughs> she, loves ten. she loves New York, and she ten. really likes Artie. Yeah. Okay, what's the well, second? It sounded like ten. she knew ten. all about you. All right, here's Artie talking about how he... God, uh, this is, I hate hearing a playback of one of my dates. This is a nightmare. What is this, where Artie takes food home? Yeah, yeah, this is where he, he wraps up his stuff, her stuff. <laughs> wait, wait, there's, a, there's a great moment here, You got because you got it's, it's more visual. But they're wrapping the stuff up, and, and they say, is it okay to take her plate? And, and before they take it away, Artie goes, give me one of those. He takes a ravioli off and eats it. You know what it was like? Remember, remember the dinner date in Beer League? We, we had a thing where we, the guy brings out two entrees, and they were both for me. <laughs> and we thought that was a joke, and I'm listening to this. That's exactly what I do. By the way, pictures of Artie's date are on HowardStern.com. So yeah. But here he is. Here's Artie making sure to take home food. This time, so I'll take this home if I want to be really obnoxious. I would take it home. It's a bunch of bread. It's like sandwiches for the Giant game tomorrow. up for me to go and I think uh well she's not done yet but yeah I'll think uh I'm, I'm done you sure wait I'm gonna steal one more I love me just stop uh, yeah you could uh, throw all of it on you want this too no you have it throw it all in there in one bag the whole thing and then the, the dessert menu
<laughs> you took home bread so you could make sandwiches no, for the no, giant no, no. game? No, what happened was I, I, I would get the rye bread at the bakery myself. I didn't take the bread home, but she she had about three raviolis left. And when she said she was done, I said, I think I'll grab one more of your raviolis. Wow. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then, and then you took the other you two, right? Three, are you up to 300 pounds yet? Then I took the get other two. Get on that scale. I, I'm not what do you weigh? I'm not 300 pounds. You're Bro, 293. Not dinner alone. Come on. I, maybe later. I'm, you'll want it later because I'll be eating more. All right. I'm just a little... Now, uh, what does the next clip say, Howard? still too exhausted. Well, we, then we, had the, we had the chocolate molten... Oh. Uh, oh, the candy store in St. Louis. So Artie now tells a story about when he was in St. Louis. He went to this candy store, took a tour, but it's all about food. Cra Crown candy. Two years ago, I announced on the show, I was watching the Food Network, and I saw some candy shop that makes homemade chocolate shakes in East St. Louis with... Crown like, Candy Kitchen. Yeah, Crown Candy. Okay, so yeah. I see a whole special on that, right? Yes. And I right. noticed that three weeks later, I had a gig in St. Louis, so on the air, I mentioned, I said, man... Uh, I was watching the Food Network, and I saw this Crown Candy place in St. Louis, and I can't wait to go to, to try it out. <laughs> I, we talked about it for like an hour. My gig sold out in like 10 minutes. I went to Crown Candy when I got to St. Louis to eat. The place was mobbed with Stern fans. Really? It was so funny. And I ate like a big cheese. That was so good, though. I had a I had a, a bacon, a, a bacon, a BLT sandwich. Like, yeah. Most perfect BLT, perfect amount of bacon, lettuce, uh -huh. tomato, and then a big, fat chocolate shake. Oh, uh, yeah. And the guy uh, knew uh, I was coming, the owner, and he took us in the back and gave us a tour of you know, the chocolate. He let me dip uh, dip a spoon in the chocolate. Coming oh, really? Out. Oh, it was so good. Wow. You talk about candy, how Jeff the vomit guy talks about vomit. Oh. I mean, you're just in love with it. We all have our fetishes. What am I, the crazy one? Uh, the chocolate. I mean, make their own chocolate. I like chocolate. Wow. I boy, oh, boy, this is some date. Is this a usual date? Like all this food conversation? Yeah, they're usually this pathetic. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, this is bullshit. This is pulling the fucking. We pulled the bullshit. Okay, so this is great. So this is great. So Artie's in the car now. He's driving her back, and he may have pointed out other landmarks, but this is what I heard. <laughs> all right. Now we're uh, Magnolia Bakeries around Ooh, here. Oh, I love. I uh, love the cupcakes. Yeah, where we just passed it. Oh, no, there it is. That's it. It's always a fucking line, no matter what time. That's a good pizzeria right there. Yeah, and that's good. Did you ever hear John's Pizza? Did you ever hear people talk about that? There's like a few of them there. Mm. That first one, I think it That's the one you said to go to, right? No, no, that was... The one I was talking about was uh, Uptown. But the restaurant is Frank's. Remember I said... Oh, Frank's. Don't forget that. Second and fifth, Frank's. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. And then uh, here's Artie finally capping off the night with Katz's Deli. Right. That's a good one. Wow. Katz's is a legendary Jewish deli in New York. Uh, and um, I was um, telling Steph, she's always thinking about new places to eat in New York. Go absorb all the booze at the end of the night with a pastrami from Katz's. I love pastrami. It's unbelievable pastrami. So check that out. That's a new place you could try. If she had said to you right then and there, let's go get a pastrami, could you have done it? At that point, I don't know. It might uh, have been. That would have been rough. Cats is good enough to wear, maybe. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's a lot of people who want to. I, I mean, I am running late here. I do have to take a break, but a lot of people do want to comment on Artie's date, and let's hear what uh, they have to say. Eric the Midget, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Artie. I heard a few minutes ago Robin make a comment about your uh, pork shank coming to the table. She's said that why do they let, or how they let that pig at the table? Well, they let you there. You're a pig. Eric, nice. Oh, oh wow. Well. Eric's been trying out some roasting jokes. <laughs> All right, Eric, thank you. Okay. Way to put down Artie, man. You're really on fire today. You're you're killing me. Yeah. I mean, you know, stop it. I'm going to cry. <laughs> All right, let's go to Ken. Ken, you're on the air. Hey, now. How you doing, Howard? Hey, now. She's, you know what? I was on the uh, HowardStern.com. Man, uh, Artie's date is hot. <laughs> Yeah, she's a very hot girl. Very nice very girl. Cool. Mexican I, and Irish. Very nice combination. And by the way, I, 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 I like do, Dana very, very much. You know I do. I love her. So I the, don't think you like anyone but yourself. Look ahead. <laughs> you might be right about that. Marianne from Brooklyn, go ahead. You know what? You're oh right. Oh, my God, Howard. This is sickening. In a couple of years, Audie will be telling us he thought we told you so. Audie, this thing with you and Dana has got to stop. Either get shit or get off the pot, Audie. I'm sick of hearing it. I, I just can't take it anymore. The girl was so nice. I saw Dial a Day. You didn't even give her a chance. You're talking about food and restaurants. How boring. You think a man like you would be a little more creative on a date? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan, oh my God, shut up! Siobhan, you're on the air. Go ahead. 
They're all coming Artie's, in. Uh, Artie's after party was awesome. I went there. I met Dana. She oh, yeah, was she, very nice. Siobhan came to the Carnegie. Were you at Carnegie Hall, too? Yeah. Irish John gave me a ticket to go. Oh. I couldn't believe it. I had no idea. Was does Irish John have tons of going. money or something? Uh, how does he get all tickets to yeah. everything? I think he makes a good living, but he definitely has great contacts for tickets. I've seen him at Nick Games in the second row, Yankee yeah. Games. He's He's yeah. got contacts. But I, I like John. John's a good guy. He's very supportive Eric, of, you're on of the everything uh, we do. Go ahead, hey, Hey now. Hey, uh, Artie. Yeah. Can I be? Can I, it sounds like you had a wonderful night. Yeah, I. I, I be, she's uh, great. I wanna, can I be your next date? <laughs> sure. What do you want? You want a lamb shank? Let's go to Joe. Joe in Fort Lauderdale. Hey, hey now, Howard. Hey now. Hey now, leave Artie alone, will you please? I was married to a junkie for ten years. Oh. Let, let me let me tell you something. Dana's going to stay with him as long as it takes. It's her choice. If she wants to spend this much time in and out of a junkie relationship, that's her business. All right, I'm uh, I'm out of it. I just wanted to know what was going on. I'm curious. I'm no, asking you the question. It's not just Artie's call. It's Dana's call. That's too, true you know? too. You're absolutely right. Yeah, I do heroin for four months. I'm Sid Vicious. I already. just hate to hear the term junkie and Artie. There's no Come junkie. On. No one's Artie's no junkie. junkie. I mean, How dare junkie, you? Always a junkie, basically. Oh. You know. I just, you know, Sorry, I like, Artie. I, like, I love you, but you know, junkie. What? Come on, I just he you know, just do, likes junk food. I do. <laughs> why do you say I'm a junkie? I'm just addicted to heroin, coke, and everything. <laughs> God, the jokesters on this show. When will it end? They busted my chops about the date. Go figure. They said I talked too much about food and I ate too much and I probably was gassy, which is wrong. I was a complete gentleman. And Isaac and the rest of the charlatans at Howard TV edited it. The piece, so it looked like I talked about nothing but food. I talked about museums, culture, music, some plays, uh, my favorite Harold Pinter plays, Chekhov, and they leave in me talking about pork shanks. So fuck everybody. I had a good time, and I think the chick is hot, and she wants me, so I don't know. Well, what That's happens, it. You know, what happens if things don't work out with Dana? Then I'm calling this chick immediately. Along with a whore on 9th Avenue and 37th Street, I've gotten to know her red light. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say, I was in that super fan trivia contest, and um, while I was waiting in the green room, like, Adi came in, gave us Jack and Coke, which is fucking awesome, by the way, Adi. Um, and I got pictures with everybody on the staff, including you, Howard, but Lisa G would not take mm -hmm. a friggin' picture with me. I, I, like, uh, why, Lisa? She's like, too good. just like, no, no, no. Yeah. When was this? Uh, just I remember uh, when Matt was down here. He yeah, was, was one of the Superman. super fans from Boston. Yeah. 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 I asked you. Trivia he, 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 the thing is, like, if I'm on the hallway and then Ronnie gets mad at me, it's, you know, I have to kind of feel out. All right. Lisa claims it's a Ronnie thing. No. It's Ronnie. It's Ronnie. I'm not blaming you. It's just sometimes if it's very crowded back there, I've got to feel out the situation. Then Ronnie would go mad, clear out the hallways. You're taking a picture. I just have to feel it out. That's all. I'm not blaming you. What are you saying, Ronnie? Look at these shitty Sienna and us, man. Really? She's off on this one. Yeah, definitely. It, was, it, it wasn't that kind of situation. When they want to clear the halls, it's because Lisa's usually sniffing around a celebrity to, you know, sort of have contact with them. This was a guy, a super nice guy, by the way, and everybody walked by. It was like it, it, the whole process would have taken, it took her longer to say no her. than it took her to sign it. Right. Well, Lisa was well, part of badly. Dude, Lisa I, was I part actually, of a very big morning show. I took the guy's book yesterday, and I walked around and had everybody, oh, do you remember? Yeah, yeah. I had everybody sign it. Right. And I would have come back when I was doing an interview when oh, you were looking Lisa, for me at 8.30. You could have signed it. When, you never even got called in yesterday. You could have signed the guy's book. No, Howard called for me, and I was busy doing an interview. I couldn't. I was oh, on the yeah, phone. But you, how, I, but thought, I thought Howard's number one, though. He is, but I was doing but an interview. It would have been unprofessional for me you to hang up the phone while I'm doing an interview. Yeah. Howard's number one, remember, in your eyes. I was doing my job. So, no, you're And you're not doing yours because you're who's guarding the halls out there's there. There's nobody here now. The guests are gone already. How do you know? Maybe someone snuck in. Nobody could sneak in. I'm in here. What? <laughs> All right. Nobody's going to sneak right. in here. I'm here. You two ought to get together, I swear. Yeah. No, Ronnie's no. Ronnie's obsessed with you. No. Yeah, they need, they need to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I, I make a head spin around in circles. Ooh. Yeah? Whoa. Mm. Really? What do you mean? You don't think she's ever had it from a guy like you? Exactly. Oh, yeah. God. Ronnie is good and bad. She I needs a story. dirty boy like me. Yeah. You Definitely. Do, you would are you wearing her. heels today? No, I'm wearing regular. Yes, you are. The regular. They're regular shoes. There's like two inch heels oh, on his shoes. It's the same you know, he does shoes I wear all the time. Hey, Howard, can, I ask Lisa, can I ask Lisa? Yeah, don't, don't, don't deflect off onto me. Come on. 
<laughs> Lisa, after every single interview, right, you're out there and you do an interview with the guest, no matter who it is, you know, celebrity or whack packer, correct? What? I'm out where? In the hall. When the person comes out, you're there to interview them, right? Yeah. How come you weren't out there for that guy yesterday that wanted you to sign his book? I just told you I was doing a phone interview, and you guys were calling me, and I couldn't right. leave. I was in the middle of an interview. Howard was calling you, and I he wouldn't have the one. Lisa, the, the interview was later in the morning. We wanted to oh, shit. Her. It was way later. Yeah, uh, way later. Uh, Actually, we saw you out in the lobby when we were leaving. Remember, Howard? Yeah. Sure I was doing said. another interview. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. She's well, that was Chris. You're too high and mighty. You're too high and mighty, Lisa. Yes, that's right. You're right. So you got to come down to the level of people. I know you were part of the Dr. Yeah. Dre. And I the know, I show. will. And, Starting uh, tomorrow. I'd love yeah. to be part of that 720 rap. Yeah, you have a thing for Lisa, Ronnie. You, yeah, like, man. Totally I'm telling you, I'm going to make a head spin. By the way, you look extraordinarily good today, Lisa. Thank you. I don't you. know what you're doing, but red you look good. Red is her color. Red's Let's your thank color. Thank you. Yeah. Wear red every day, and Ronnie will be all worked up. Yeah, I'm all worked up, man. Yeah. It is true. If you ever slept with Ronnie, he'd rock your universe. I've, I've really? heard stories about Ronnie as a lover. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie knows tricks. Well, who tell would tell her. you? He's tell the vagina Ronnie told Don't worry about it. Don't he's, worry a about it. he's a vagina whisperer. Don't worry about it. Are you a vagina Boy, whisperer? Look at her, she's blushing, man. He, he is. He, wow. Well, what? who would tell you? I mean, who would? Uh, I, I know people. He knows friends of mine. Yeah. I, like, hey, Ronnie, I I'm, seriously, Ronnie is a, is a uh, player. I'm not kidding you. I like Tiger been, Woods? No, but I wouldn't. Uh, past Tiger Woods. But really? Tiger Woods is an amateur compared to Ronnie. You sexed? Uh, he a, doesn't need to. I'm he, a Scorpio, baby. Just sex. remember that. You I'm sex, a Scorpio right? too. Yeah, look out. Oh. You're in you deep, sex, you're in right? deep shit. You sexed. I'm the text messaging. You yeah. sexing? What's that? You sexed? Oh yeah, definitely. Right. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> Sorry. Right. What? Let Ronnie say, give Ronnie permission to sex you. You will be turned on. Uh -huh. Hey Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Yeah. When's the last time you've had sex or even made out with a guy? I'd love to know that too. Uh, what, it, what? Give us a give us an ETA. We, we all at the Stern Show would love to know that. The Has back office is you, over smoking over you? that. Yeah, I'd say. Wow. Yeah. That's gonna I'd be say frustrating. I'd say it's more, way more than a year. No. That's shocking. You're a cute girl. Thank right? you. It's hard to meet people. Oh. Like you always say, you know, Ronnie. You got me right here, baby. Yeah. You know, Come on. Maybe I gotta start looking at him. Have you been with a man since you've been at Sirius? I, you know, I've I've dated, yes. Dated, but you haven't really even kissed a guy since Sirius. Oh come on, Howard. Oh, you have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. You believe that, Ronnie? Yeah, I believe she kissed a guy. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know why he cares. It's so funny. I do. Everybody cares. They all want to know. The whole audience wants to know. You think she's had sex since we've been at Sirius? No. Negative. Wow. Is that true? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. Can all the way, me? all the way, sex. Why do people? Care? I'm not telling you about my sex life. All, all the way, sex. I, Ronnie, I'm going to tell you, you about get, my personal life. Have you been life. laid since I, you've been I'm here? I'm not going to. I'm not going to answer I that. I bet you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> he's even in the car. He talks about Lisa. Wow. Uh, yeah. He's ready to yeah. end your drought, Lisa. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Drought. If you want rain, <laughs> <laughs> you want someone to take the roll call. Yeah, right. call him the He'll rain. He'll do the roll call. Yeah. She's got to buy me dinner first, though. You would loosen. <laughs> I, I think Lisa would become crazy if she know, was with you. 